podcast.net legacy of Kylian Mbappe. So Kylian Mbappe did announce a l- way earlier in the season. He announced way earlier in the season he will be leaving PSG. Where he'll be leaving to, I don't know. And I'm not here to, you know, I'm not here to, uh, what's the word? Try to guess or anything like <laughs> Real Madrid. <laughs> Real Madrid. Um, but, uh, but uh, I think, yeah, I think it's kind of clear. We all know where he's going. Uh, we all know where he's locked into. Uh, 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 but he will be leaving this summer. That's his reports. I thought maybe there was a chance that he might come back, depending on what happens in the the remaining fate of the Champions League. But they are now eliminated. They're now gone. So it's safe to say he will be leaving. He will be leaving uh, PSD. So we got to discuss the... um, What is his legacy? uh, French legend Thierry Henry was on a show... And he said, Mbappe, it's clear, it's quite clear. No questions asked. Mbappe is the best player, best PSG player ever. For me, that statement is quite an other ridiculous. I think, I don't even think you could say his peak was the best. I believe Neymar peak was the greatest whenever he went on, whenever he went on the run um, to help uh, PSG reach the final, him and Mbappe. Um, I don't even, I don't even think you could say his peak has been the peakest and you definitely can say longevity wise because if we're talking about longevity, I think it has to be Zlatan and Cavani who had many years of, uh, you know, dominating League One, um, scoring many, many goals, uh, and being the main catalyst on the PSG team and having longevity to do it too. So I don't really see what he means when he says the best PSG player of all time. I, 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 I'm just like, what? What? Is it because he's French? I don't know. I, I, that's the only way I can like, and even then that's, that doesn't make no sense to me. I, I, I don't get it. But he has been a brilliant player for PSG. He has been the life of that club, kind of to an extent, especially this season, since he did force Neymar out. Let's just be clear. That's not sugarcoated. He forced Neymar out. Uh, and, he, you know... Mbappe has always rubbed me the wrong way. Just based on his arrogance, his childish behavior, some things that he says, just his actions, just the way he's so, you know, oh, I'm leaving PSG, I'm not leaving PSG, I'll get this player out, um, the way he just whines, and he does it in kind of a very uh, passive-aggressive way. I've, he's always rubbed me the wrong way. You know, the way he rubbed that, pushed that way, Neymar completely rubs me the wrong way. Um, and some of the little things he says, some of the little snarky, arrogant comments he had, like before the World Cup, talking about European countries being better than Conambul countries and losing to a Conambul t- country in the World Cup final a few months later, which is kind of it's beautiful revenge for the Argentinians. Um, but there has been a lot of things that he's done and a lot of arrogance that's just rubbed me the wrong way. And I believe at this PSG tenure, that has gotten a lot gotten in his way. Or earlier when talk with the penalty drama with Neymar and all that, and Neymar and Messi, I just I'm not a big fan of him on a uh, personal level. And I think that it's affected him in his Bar- uh, PSG career not being able to reach over the top. Because let's face it, League One winning League One is absolutely nothing. Winning League One with PSG, that's just a given. That's just. That's just a given. Being at PSG, you have to win League One. You have to win the French League. Let's just let's get that out of the way. But um, not being able to uh, win the Champions League, very. Uh, it has to be disappointing, not just for him, but for the club in general, the players that they have had, and not being able to take advantage of Mbappe while he was here. But let's face it too. 
Mbappe has been wasting a lot of his prime careers, prime career years being here at PSG. I mean, he's not. He needs to go somewhere where he's at the top in week in week out. League One doesn't really provide him that. He doesn't really get the sort of attention that a guy like Jude Bellingham or Vinicius, or let's say Cole Palmer at Chelsea, or let's say you know, you know. Those kind of guys that play at a top club, top Premier League club, top La Liga club, Jude Bellingham doesn't really get those kind of that kind of uh, Jude Bellingham. Uh, Kylian Mbappe doesn't really get that attention week in week out throughout the season. It's when the Champions League comes or the European Championship or the World Cup. That's when he really gets the attention that a player of his magnitude deserves. So I do think a move is a right time for him to make a move. But I just I don't think his legacy at PSG has been something you know some some great legacy that um, that's uh, and not no no not the greatest of all time at all. He's had very good years. Don't get me wrong. He's had very very good years at PSG, but the greatest I I can't go uh, I can't go that far. <laughs> When you look at some of his performances uh, in games, this Borussia Dortmund tie, for me, he 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 wasn't there. You know, he was kind of uh, not. He didn't. I I, I don't want to use the word disinterested, but it just seemed like the fire wasn't there to get on the ball to make something happen, to make the runs in behind, to really threaten them. We didn't really see any of that. At all, this uh, even against Barcelona, especially in that first leg, he, he was not that great. He was not that great. And for me, for me, he was outplayed by Jaden Sancho in the first leg, and in the second leg, he was outplayed by I don't know Adiemi, you know <laughs> Adiemi, who made that one run, who had that one run, <laughs> but. It's really, you know, he's tainted a lot of his legacy with all the drama, all the drama that he's had. He's tainted his legacy with the going in and out, I'm going to Real Madrid, or oh, I'm not going out, I'm demanding to leave, or I don't want to demand, oh, the French president is coming to visit me. Um, Okay, well, that last one is not really his fault. But the amount of rumors that's been surrounding him, the way he's forced Neymar out, he's, just, he's made himself kind of an unlikable figure at P, uh, PSG, which I don't want to go on and on and on and on about it. But uh, a lot of this drama and attention has to be from himself. So as much of the positives you can talk about, the way he's dominated in uh, Paris, you know, and he has, he's been a brilliant, brilliant player for Paris Saint-Germain. You can't argue that. When you look at the statistics, when you look at the performance, he has been a brilliant, brilliant player. But has he been, um, uh, has he done that drama-free? Has he done that not being a distraction? Uh, no. At the end of the day, no. No. So I couldn't put him ahead of the likes of Cavani, Zlatan, Neymar. Neymar... Okay, Neymar didn't have the longevity, but I think Neymar peaked higher. And Neymar was really that guy that bring the squad to a kind of bring PSG to the more of the national, the international attention. Not that they didn't get international attention beforehand, but when you get a guy like Neymar, a guy when he's signing, when he's doing the initial walking into the stadium, signing the contracts, someone who can fill up the stadium just from his signing. When you get a player of that kind of esque, it just it just kind of put PSG kind of different. Like in the international, uh, you know, world, it just made us. It just made PSG a little bit up there, and not saying, and not just because of that, but also because of his performances. He had some brilliant years, some underrated years at PSG, which were undermined. If you don't, if you remember, he was he had the diving at the World Cup. You know, he dove a few times, or he not even dove. He would get fouled. That's the thing too. He never dove. He would get fouled, but he would embellish it. He would roll around and stuff like that. And he got heavily criticized for that. And his name got, you know, deteriorated because of that. He got called a lot of derogatory things, all that. And 
that kind of undermined some of the brilliant brilliance that he was providing for PSG. But he had some remarkable, remarkable time for them too. So, and the fact that uh, Mbappe forced him out, I mean, uh, you know, as great as Mbappe has been for uh, PSG, he's definitely, definitely has had some... Um, some downsides to it but he has had a great career but i think this is the right time for him to move on to you know the next you know venture in his career which like let's just be for real it's gonna come it's most likely gonna be real madrid